Okay, the first person, um, the one starting out, is uh, Mariette, Mariette Hoytink. Uh, Mariette, uh, I met a few years ago when I went to Amsterdam Fashion Week. I was, um, well, she was fa fascinating the way she was talking to all of us journalists. And I think she will be fascinating again today. She's the founder of HTNK, which in English sounds much better, HTNK. Uh, it's a fashion recruitment and consult consultancy agency for the fashion business. It's in fact Amsterdam's premier fashion and consultancy uh, recruitment office. Um, she has clients ranging from Levi's and Diesel to G-Star, Victor and Rolf, Adidas, Scotch and Soda. And she's also linked with her team to a uh, fashion incubator foundation, a foundation that is quite well known in uh, Belgium, in uh, Holland, of course, uh, to spotlight uh, Holland design talent and to um, make them well known outside Holland. She graduated herself from the academy in Arnhem, and she just told me that actually she should be in Arnhem right now, but she wanted to come to Antwerp. So welcome, Mariette Hoytink. Thanks. Okay, can I stay seated or do I have to stand up? To stand. Okay, I do. No, no problem at all. Hi. Um, power talk about fashion. Well, just related to my subject, which is recruitment. I think for a lot of people who are, who are graduating at the Academy of Arts, commercial side is a dirty word. And I don't know why. I really don't understand. Because honestly, I don't care if you make a dress of 50k and sell it to someone and have a good life but in the end we try and sell something and some of us uh, have it in them to be in a museum but the rest will work basically in the fashion business and um, I started HTNK because I was not really happy with the way headhunters approached me I was working in the business and they said well we might have a job for you and I was like you're not really interested in what I want, and that's basically what we do at HTNK. We try to get into the minds of the people who come to us and see what's the best way to get to a job, to an assignment, to anything you want to do. And that might be doing something different than you thought you would, were going to do when you came in. A lot of people come to our, our office and they say, well, I graduated at the Academy of Art, I'm ready for the job, and uh, so tell me, can I work at Victor and Rolf, or you made a team for Karl Lagerfeld, can we work there? And basically, that's, that's never the way it works. It's like, the first job is the, the hardest thing to find, and um, how to get there is doing things like this. Try and meet people who are working in the business, and see if you can make uh, make them very enthusiastic about what you're doing. Tonight we will see a graduation show. This year again in Holland we have seven academies of art um, and a lot of students will graduate this year and try and find a job. So how can you make a difference? That's basically very, very difficult. On the other end, there's also something which is and, and I, I just want to talk for Holland because I don't know exactly uh, about Belgium, but it's, it is kind of similar. They all graduate uh, and think they're going to be a couture designer. And our world, is a, especially in Holland, is a denim casual world. We don't have a lot of couture in Holland. And you should immediately move out of Holland uh, and not stay there. And, um, but if you want to stay, basically there are enough jobs for everyone. Because in and around Amsterdam, you have the biggest denim density in the world, which is the companies who are, uh, uh, who are basically making denim and casual brands. They are based in and around Amsterdam, and they're looking for people all the time. So what we did right now, because there is such a demand for people who are graduating and then trying to work in a casual and denim brand, we're going to open the first jean school in Amsterdam in the world. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And it's something which people are working in the denim business. They said, there should be a school somewhere. There is not. So there's, there are schools enough who teach denim. They're also in Italy. and uh, But a jean school 
is not there. So which is really strange because the business, there's a lot going on and no one knows how to make a jeans and how to make anything in the denim business and know a lot about couture. Um, but so we try and change a little bit all the, the, the things which are happening in, in fashion and basically I think for the future of students, if they would open up towards companies who are there, companies like G-Star. No one ever went, uh, there are not a lot of students who just got into their office and just check what they're doing. If you see basically what they're doing, they also have a studio in which people are, are designing and making and all these things and they're just trying to develop a product similar to any other uh, designer, but you're working in a team and you're working for a global brand which is, yes, more commercial than the other ones. So, um, and we at HTNK, we help on any level. If you're the most talented designer, for sure you're gonna go to the brand or the designer you wanna go to. But it also uh, depends on <laughs> really hard work uh, because basically we get students, uh, well, graduates coming in and they say, well, I'm looking for a part-time job because I want to do my own thing. And that's something which is, okay, it's killing for any company you want to work in because if I would be on the other side and you would tell me that you want to work for me but on a part-time base because you want to do your own thing, you think, well, it would be really nice if we would have like a business love affair, at least say that you are dying to work for me, although you might think, well, it's not really what I want, but if you can find like people who can teach you a lot in the business, can be in a brand which is not basically the brand you want to work for. But if you know, if you can find people who can teach you and guide you, it might work out that you, in the end, you have your own company, you can start your own thing because you have a network of people uh, who can educate you, who can educate you in the business. So. Uh, and that's why it's still, it's an on and ongoing process. And to me, it's still surprising in Holland at, with seven academies of art, we do Lichting, which is the show for the best graduates of all the academies. We ask all the press and the buyers and all the fashion professionals, so the design decision makers of all companies, which we know, we invite them all to come to Amsterdam to see this show. And what we asked him, could you please hire one junior? Please, because they're all looking for a job. And some do, but basically also the graduates, they say, well, I'm not looking for a job. So that's also something <laughs> which is quite difficult to deal with because they say, well, I wanna travel, I wanna go abroad, I can do, I wanna do a master, but if you're not, well, if you cannot just do a master, they just, they, they have to, I use as well. So basically after a year of traveling and meeting your friends and saying, I want to do my own thing, I'm looking for a part-time job, they're back and then they're looking for a job. And then you have this already the new group of the seven academies who are looking for a job. So in the end, anyone can find a job uh, within the business, but it depends on how eager and how willing are you to at least start and learn and same as what I did and what everyone else did is just starting out and then uh, within a couple of years, it would be nice after 10 years if you could say, well, now I'm really doing what I'm good at and what, I'm, and what I understand and, what, and uh, that you feel at ease in what you're doing. And in the meantime, learning, learning, learning. That's what I'm still doing every day. So.